welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my Sitka Whitetail system. So I just bought all this stuff. Um, I got, I have five pieces. Yes, six. I have a couple pieces of Sitka gear that I've got and um, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got and this is sort of if you want to go out and buy yourself some Sitka gear and you don't want to buy you can't buy everything essentially so um, this is sort of what I got and so what I have is uh, I bought the Fanatic hoodie the Equinox hoodie the Fanatic bib the Fanatic jacket and the Stratus pant so I'll go ahead so um, early season what I have is the Fanatic hoodie this is it right here. I got this in a size large. I bought everything so that I can grow into it. So this is the Fanatic hoodie. It is, um, this is a size large, like I said. It has a built-in face mask and uh, a nice hood. And I'll put this on here. So here's this. If you don't want the face mask, um, you can just slide it back you don't have to use it um, I I would see myself wearing it quite a bit and so here's the face mask um, so it's a really light weight and um, breathable and then if you don't want it you can just push it back and pull this over your head so um, here, this is the fanatic hoodie uh, one other cool piece, well, it has the hand mitts right here, or not, it has hand mitts, but this is the kangaroo pouch. Um, I already spoiled it, but it has little built-in hand mitts that, um, they flip over, and it's just like that. You can't see it there, but just like that. Little mitts, so what you do is you pull it down, you put your hand through the little holes and then you just take it and you flip it over and there you go you got little mitts now these mitts are not very warm they're mainly for early season you know if you forget your gloves and you don't or you don't think you need gloves and it gets a little little bit chillier and um, so you just flip them flip them over um, just to keep you a little bit warm not too much though so there that is this piece this is going to be an essential piece in my system so moving on um to the equinox hoodie now i've got it rolled up here right here is the equinox hoodie it has a full zip jacket and it's berber fleece lined on the inside um so i'll put it on here So this is, again, the Econ hoodie. It's thicker. This is going to be more October. I'm going to be wearing this. It's pretty warm, I'd say. So I'll put my Fanatic hoodie on. And then this will be my second layer, like this. Um, so it has another hood um, that's a little bit thicker than the Fanatic. And so if your head starts to get cold. So there is the... This is the Equinox. Also has some side zip pockets for your hands and whatever else. It also has a chest zippered pocket right here. That it looks big, but it's really not too big. It's a really elastic material, really, really stretchy. Um, so there's that. Take this off quick so I don't get too hot. Um, I'll go ahead now and I'll show you. I got the Equinox, or no, not Equinox, Stratus pant. Um, so I'll tilt the camera down so you can see that. All right, everybody. So next we have the Stratus pant. So here it is. It's got a buckle. Here's the front. Um, it's got a little buckle here for the 
belt. I got this in a size large as well. I'm five foot eight and really skinny. Um, I think I had like a 30 inch waist. So um, these are big on me, especially in the waist. Feel this, it's really big, um, but it works. Untuck. So, there we go. It has nice, big, deep pockets right here. It also has um, a zippered side pocket here. And um, it has big, big pocket on the side of your leg as well, on both sides, um, with really quiet buttons. So that's a big plus, is the buttons are really quiet. You know, last thing you need is a big snap in the tree. Season starts. September 19th this year. I'll wear this probably until maybe November, but probably um, late October is when I will switch over to the Fanatic bib. So um, I'll t tilt the camera up just a little bit. So here is the Fanatic bib. Um, I got this in a size medium. This is the only thing I got in a size medium. I tried stuff on at Shields, and then I ordered it from their website. The only difference for me for the medium that I felt was that the um, the thighs were bigger, but I was still in the same um, loop for the suspenders. So it has some lower zippers there and there. And move down move down the pant so moving down the pant so these are the two zippers that I was showing you a second ago right there then you have um, the same quiet buttons that you have on the Stratus um, really nice pockets here the Berber fleece stops a little above my knees um, little mic troubles there but I got it. So, like I was saying, um, the Berber fleece stops just above my kneecaps. Probably, I don't know, what is that? Six inches above my kneecaps. Um, so, there's that. Moved on down a little bit more. There's pockets, side pockets, like on the Stratus. Um, and then there's also little openings. I don't know if you can see that, but little non-zippered pockets. Um, there's a full zip going from right here all the way down your leg. So see that opens up real big right there. And there's a zipper starting from the bottom too. If you want to disconnect it and have it real floppy, say you want to put a boot on, um, then you start from the bottom and there's a little, really little snap that you undo. So. There's that. That's pretty much it for the pant. All right. So there's that. Also, one other cool um, thing to notice is in the back here, you can see there's these um, right here. There's these little um, waist Velcro straps for adjusting your waist. So you take it and you pull it. And it tightens up the back a little bit. So if you have small hips like me, you can adjust that and you're good to go. So um, I might as well leave it on and I'll show you the pair. So once it gets a little bit colder. Um, so now I already did a review for this Fanatic jacket. If you haven't seen it, you can go watch it. So um, I'll show you here. Um, if you watch my other video. This is a size large, and um, this is the 2018 version, not the remodeled one. These are the 2019 bibs. The re these are the remodeled ones. So this this jacket has Berber fleece everywhere. So there it is. This is the setup. Super warm. As you see, the side zipper. Uh, front kangaroo pocket, um, big pocket right here, 
on the side and um, for your range finder and grunt gall and um, all right I'm gonna take this off bibs and jacket are both 100% windproof no hood but that's where the Equinox hoodie comes in handy and once it's like once it's cold too I know I'm not gonna be able to get by with just the um, with just the Equinox hoodie fanatic beanie right here super super warm I'll show you this that's what it's like on the inside super super warm quiet and um, has silky material on the back so when it's rubbing against your jacket it's quieter um, and then I also have the fanatic glove right here these are great because I can wear these all season long because they have and they have no front your front pointer finger or thumb so this is a size medium and fits me perfectly not too tight but not baggy at all you know um, I already ripped them turkey hunting this spring um, that's gonna be my 2020 Sitka gear whitetail system um, I'll leave a link to all the Sitka gear to the Sitka gear site in the description below I'm sure I'll do a separate review for most of this stuff in the future. Um, specifically, probably the the Fanatic Whitetail system. So I'll probably do a review for the bibs and jacket. And um, so if you could only get two pieces of Sitka gear, I would go with the Equinox hoodie and the fanatic bib because I feel like that's what I'm going to be wearing most of the time um, along with the fanatic hoodie I'm going to be wearing this every single set of the season um, and definitely going to get some use out of it um, I will for sure have an extra review for this but I also got the 2020 Sitka tool bucket backpack not the cargo box the tool bucket this has so many features in it that um, it's going to be a whole video itself, but um, I'll give you a quick overview here. So like the 2019 model, it has the little clip right here that you undo and you flip it open. You have big bucket style um, and then you can unzip those two zippers and there's magnets on the bottom. And so I'll have my tree arm base in it. And then the inside there, just a huge bucket. All your junk in there. Um, you've got a side pocket here for bow hanger. I'm not gonna be zipping up my backpack, 90% of my sits. So you put the little thing through the hole and flip it over. So once you have that, you take this string here at the bottom, I don't, know if you, I don't know if you can see it, and you take it, it'll take two hands, because you pull the string, and then you tighten it, and that's how it keeps it tight, not gonna move, you can shove a ton of stuff in here, uh, this, this one does not have a stand system, but I'll show you guys how I plan to carry my stand with this, um, does not have a hip belt, but I'm fine with that, I don't need it. So, so it looks like pretty slim. Um, you can cinch it down pretty tight. All right, everybody, that's gonna be it for this video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to, and be on the lookout for my future videos. Hit that bell notifications so you do not miss out on any new videos. And stay tuned for the reviews of the backpack and the Fanatic system, and we'll see you guys next time.